We're here to talk about Production Resource Group, the multinational production company that now make certain things they need, such as lights. They've got the bad boy, they've got the best boy, they've got the 476 console. And now this little Mohican. Jimmy, what is this thing? This is the True Color Photon, which is an LED-based fixture. Um, outputs are about 1,000 lumens of light of less than 30 watts. The version we've got here is a DC model, just four pin in, so you could conceivably run it off a V-lock tap or something on a camera okay, battery. So what's missing? No DMX control. So this is obviously a film TV exhibition type architectural light thing. Yeah, look, the, the people who are really going to get off on this uh, are the DOPs who want really good colour accuracy. The colour rendering index on this fixture is 95 plus, um, which is higher than anything I can remember seeing on any LED I've run into. Um, which means basically that what you project it onto is going, or, or anything you illuminate with it, is going, you're going to see the colours uh, more accurately than mm. you would with a lower CRI. So what about colour temperature? Colour temperature, you've got two choices. Yep. You've got a daylight or a tungsten. This is the tungsten. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's set by electronics, yeah? It's set by the actual LED chips. All right, so we've got ourselves a fixture that they ain't going to be making colours. It's a, it's, a, it's a white light with what looks like different beam angles. Yeah, this is really cool. Yep. You want to change your beam angle? Yep. Just whack in a new reflector. Pop the reflector out. So we just pulled a 40 degree out. And I'm putting the 20 degree in. So I assume there's a, a range of these. Yeah, and um, they go up to quite wide. Okay. I think, I think the helpful. widest one's like 120 or something. Okay, so why have I got this heatsink? Okay, what you probably just noticed there is that basically the entire fixture is one giant heatsink. Mm -hmm. um, we burn quite quite a lot of light in there uh, in a very small enclosure. So we're maxing the LED. Yeah, the LED is running uh, at, at its potential. You're still going to get 50,000 hours out of it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's certainly no sort of economies being made so while we're not going to get radiated space. heat from the light because it's LED, you're going to get fixture heat. Yeah, basically the whole fixture sucks all the heat away from the back of the LED block mm -hmm. and uh, radiates it out. It does okay. get pretty warm. Right. -o. Um, not not any warmer than you know. I suppose a, it's a tungsten an, version. It's an efficiency exercise, isn't it? It's it's a very small source. Yeah, it's a space efficiency thing. With a thousand lumens, so it's kicking along. Look, this thing kicks a lot of light out for its size. And it's got a dimmer on the back, which is this neato recessed, not so recessed. Here, look at that. Yeah, there's a little there's a little guard on the dimmer, yep. which is nice because if you're always doing the same thing and you want to just throw them all in a case, mm. you can. I like and that. you dim you your output level's yeah. not going to change. There's also a switch as well. I like the well. finish. I mean, this is this is a professional device. It it stinks of quality. It does doesn't it? Yeah. It, it really it feels solid. Okay. You know the the lock for the lens tube is nice. Mm. Plenty um, of light. So it's a film and TV combo tool. Yeah. I look mm. even even photographers would probably um probably get into it. But they yeah, would, look, they? Yeah. It's it's definitely got some some good uses, and uh, with that with that color rendering, that's that's something that makes it pretty special. Hmm. Thank you, Jim.